All right, for our weapon of the week this week, we are talking about the Kratos fire jet, which is flown by Shield AI's Hive Mind autopilot. So I'm going to bring in Shield AI's president CEO, Brandon Singh, to talk about this. Brandon, thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. So this, you were telling me this, it's, it's for targeting and red flag. What is that? What is all that? Yeah, so our partnership with Kratos is really about productizing and bringing to market AI pilots. So Shield AI, we are building the world's best AI pilot uh, to retake the skies. What is an AI pilot? Essentially, it is self-driving technology for aviation. And why is that important? It enables aircraft to operate without GPS, without communications, without remote pilot. Uh, it enables the concept of swarming or teaming. Um, and then just like self-driving cars can learn to drive different missions, park, you know, do on-ramp to off-ramp, do freeway driving, suburban driving, you can train aircraft to do different missions as well. We train quadcopters to clear buildings. Uh, we trained an F-16 to dogfight. Uh, we are working on suppression of enemy air defense missions, maritime domain awareness missions. And so really you can train these aircraft to learn and operate just at any mission that you, you can define that any human pilot flies today. You bet, you bet. So what you're saying is hive mind is not limited to one type of craft, it can, you can teach it to fly any craft. Yes, you can teach it to fly any craft. And so the MQM-178 fire jet, and Kratos has been a terrific partner with us, um, it actually represents the sixth class of aircraft that we have flown. So we've flown three different, Hive Mind has flown three quadcopters, it's flown our VBAT, it's flown the F-16, and the MQM-178 is the sixth aircraft, and later this year when we fly the Valkyrie, that'll be the seventh aircraft. And so, uh, Shield AI, essentially what we're doing is taking our AI pilot and integrating it on lots and lots of different aircraft. So you can imagine a world where there are hundreds of thousands of aircraft, up to a million aircraft flying. We don't have enough pilots. What's flying those? AI pilots. Hivemind will be flying those. How did you come up with the name Hivemind? Uh, hive, yeah, great question. Actually, it's uh, it's you know a, uh, a science fiction um, reference. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but you know I I, I used to play uh, StarCraft uh, when I was a kid, and Hive Mind is like you know I think it's one of the the characters in the game of StarCraft, which is a real time you know science fiction type uh, 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 strategy game, and so I got a little inspiration there. You bet, you bet, Brandon. That was great. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us today. Folks, you're definitely going to want to keep an eye on Hive Mind because where this thing is going, I mean, sky's the limit, space is the limit. What do you think? Uh, I'll, I'll just say it's it's going everywhere. I, I you know when I started the company in 2015, asked myself what uh, you know what's the military look like of 2035. Decided AI and autonomy should be commanding, maneuvering, piloting all of our different assets. And so we think about Hive Mind being that key enabler uh, for the U.S. military and to enable the concept of intelligent, affordable mass. Sounds great. Thank you, Brandon. Thanks.